what's going on guys it's the BC Gamer here and welcome to the BC Gamer channel today I want to talk to you guys about this promotion that's going on with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where you're going to be able to upgrade your last gen copy of the game to the next gen or current gen copy of the game for absolutely free now if this sounds familiar it's because Destiny did the same thing and uh, I actually took advantage of that deal and made a video about it in which you bought the PS3 version of the game you got a code and you instantly were able to update or upgrade to the PS4 version of the game and keep that copy as well. This article is on IGN.com. There will be a link in the description for you guys to check out. Free digital upgrade. I want to read this to you now. Sledgehammer and Activision are offering players of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the PS3 and Xbox 360 a free upgrade to the PS4 or Xbox One version. You can also transfer over any DLC and season pass you have purchased. The DLC will only transfer to the same user ID and the same console family. PlayStation or Xbox not crossing over. So if you buy this on the PS3 and you want to update and go over to the Xbox One, this will not work. It only works in the same console family. So if you have a PS3, you got to go to the PS4. And if you get an Xbox 360, you've got to go to the Xbox One. In order to be eligible for this promotion, you must buy the digital version of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 before March 31st, 2015. Players will still be able to play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on their last gen console after upgrading. All stats and prog progress made on the last gen will transfer over to the next gen PS4 Xbox One only if you stay within the console family. This is great news. I think this is awesome. Uh, I love that. Uh, the only thing about that is you're kind of forced to be uh, digital only. You'll never be able to sell that game you never be able to loan that game to people. And I was one of the very vocal gamers out there about the, the all-digital uh, future that, that gamers, some gamers want that I think will be terrible. I was there in 2011 when the PlayStation Network went down, and I was unable to play single-player PlayStation games because the network was messed up. PlayStation got a hack. That's one vulnerability to having uh, your games all digital that I do not like. I must say, I do enjoy the uh, the benefit of being able to boot up Destiny in my PS4 or one of my PS3s instantly without looking for it. That is something I really love. But if I get tired of the game or if I don't want it anymore, I'm stuck with that game. And that's one thing that people got to consider. But if you consider this, I have five PS3s. I got Destiny on two PS3s and I got Destiny on a PS4. So if you do it that way, you can get Destiny on three, I mean Destiny, you can get Call of Duty on three consoles for the price of one game. You guys let me know what you think about this deal. I think many more developers are going to start doing this. This is a way to edge out GameStop. You can't go back to GameStop and sell your game. So that removes the ability for them to lose money on their product, which is actually pretty smart. You get the benefit of having the game on multiple consoles for the price of one console. And I don't think there's really anything bad about this. You guys let me know what you think about this news. Check out the link in the description. If you found this video helpful at all, please hit that thumbs up button and show some support. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.